I absolutely hate this style of grease fitting. Uh, they're a drive-in style fitting. There's no threads on them. You just drill your hole and it's an interference fit. And uh, I mean, obviously they're great when they're new, when you drive them in, they work great. But for the poor bastard like me that's gonna try and get them out, it's just an absolute pain in the ass. Because the grease fitting is hardened and nothing wants to bite onto it. Your vice grips just keep slipping off it. And you can't really get in with a punch because you can't get on it straight. It's just a nightmare. I hate them. I'd like to find the guy that invented them or the person that invented them and just wring their neck. the head it did come out a tiny bit I might be able to get a pry bar or a screwdriver behind it and work it out but once we get that out we'll drill it and tap it for uh, like a 1 8 pipe grease fitting or something something that can be swapped out easy this is ridiculous <clears throat> you can it's hard to see it won't focus for me maybe i'll snap a picture and put it in but anyway it, it looks like it almost has threads but it's a bunch of barbs on it and like i they they must be hard i'm pretty sure they're hardened so they drive in and it seats in there great and it seals up and it's awesome when it's new but to get them out is just a pain in the ass because you got all these little barbs you got to you're trying to you know fight fight back out and just a mess <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so I just measured that bore three different ways. All three of them bang on two and one eighth. So we know that bore is good. Now we can just make up a new sleeve and shove that in. I'm gonna get the axle flipped over, do the same thing with the other side, clean it up, measure it a few different ways, um, and make sure that it's gonna be okay. This side here, this is the one that had the, the you know, the intact sleeve that came out of it. So I was real confident in this side anyway. The other side had that pushing. Again, as I said, there was another piece that broke off on me, but there was still a void in this sleeve. So hopefully it didn't wear the other bore too much. I'm hoping I can just make up new sleeves and push them in and not have to do any boring on the axle itself.
So, just measured this side. I uh, measured it three different ways. Uh, here, here, and down this way, deep. It was good. All three of them, again, bang on, two and one eighth inches. Right up here, on this, uh, I'm trying to remember if that's the bottom side or top side of the axle now. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. Looks like that was that spot where the sleeve had a piece missing. And for about half of the depth here, uh, <clears throat> These sleeves are two inches. They go in there two inches deep. So for about half of the depth on this side, it's oversized there. There's a there's a spot kind of dished out. Um, eh, sucks, but such is life. So I'm gonna have to fix that. I wanna fix it. I don't wanna just slide a bushing in because I feel like the bushings are gonna be so thin as it is, the sleeves. It's just going to beat it into that low spot, and then it's going to be loose again anyway. So, um, so I guess what we're going to do, <clears throat> I'll get this set up in the mill. We'll just bore this oversize a little bit, and then I, I'm making bronze bushings here anyway, bronze sleeves myself anyway. So that's fine. I'll just oversize this one size side and uh, make a sleeve to fit it. So we're roughly within a half a thou there, and that's where we're going to call it. set up uh, the axle clamped down <clears throat> uh, everything's lined up we got our uh, obviously as you see we got our boring head in uh, I've already gone in and just very lightly touched off um, I'm just gonna start off with probably uh, 20 thou or something uh, you know like 20 thou off the whole diameter so Ten thou side, we'll see how it works.
and seem to cut pretty good. But uh, I'll try and get a shot here. <clears throat> still, there's still a low spot that it didn't clean up yet. It started cleaning up all the way around. Um, I don't know, but got about a third of the way down and it started cleaning up all the way around. But still one low spot there that we have to clean up. So I'm going to uh, dial it in another 20. Again, on this boring head, uh, you know, you dial it in 20, it's, that's taking 20 thou off the whole diameter. So we're going to try that and see if that cleans it up. I'm thinking it will. And uh, 20. Go there and see if it cleans up. Still just a very, very small section that it didn't clean up. So one more cut's gonna do it. Probably dial in 10. There we go. So <clears throat> that got it, got it all cleaned up. Um, I didn't let it come back up because I didn't want to take that little spring cut or a little ghost cut on the way up. So it came down <clears throat> to depth, the shoulder, and I just locked the quill there and I'll back the bit out and we'll let it up there. So. Move the camera back here a little bit. Good in there. But, uh, cleaned it up all the way around. <clears throat> all right, looks good. Well, it's gonna come back in there with a little uh, chamfer tool. Just take the edge off. Take that edge off the bore there. Slow her down some. Now I'm just going to uh, crank the knee up gently until we touch it. Take a small cut. touching there now. Yeah, 
Here we go. get at the uh, pin now for that front axle um, this is a piece of two inch chrome plated that I found on the shelf so uh, I was kind of happy I found you know something that's chrome induction hardened would be nice but anyway uh, chrome plated it's gonna work just fine it was sitting on the shelf uh, so keeping cost down on this job right so I've already got it cut to length and all we're going to do is uh, clean up the ends. Um, one end, we're going to uh, we got to put a, a good chamfer on the end, and we got to drill it and tap it for a grease fitting. And we'll probably drill in the the grease hole is at two and five eighths of an inch. I'll probably just drill in a, a easy three inches. So we'll punch those holes in there, tap it for the grease fitting. And on this end, we're just simply going to drill and tap for a, a, a puller a puller hole so if we want to pull it out again I can just screw in a, an eye bolt or something and pull it out I think I'm just gonna go with a half inch coarse thread on that and then a plate welds on this end which bolts into the tractor frame so um, this ends pretty simple so pin measures about uh, 30 degrees, that chamfer on the end, so we're going to set our compound to that, <clears throat> swing it around, set it to 30, and uh, 
just going to cut it by hand. The old pin measures about a half inch chamfer. Pretty close to three eighths there now, so we'll take a couple more cuts and see how she looks. All right, we're pretty well at a half inch there now, so we're gonna take another one see if I can get a good consistent feed by hand just to clean that up. Not too bad. It's, uh, I think we're gonna, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna work for me. Okay, so we got our pin flipped around. Um, we're gonna face it off, break the corner, and uh, drill and tap that hole for uh, if we want to pull the ball down. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go half inch, half inch coarse thread on it, <clears throat> and we'll probably just go a couple inches deep or something. All right, we got you over here at the drill press. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna try and drill that hole for the uh, for the grease hole. I just got a quarter inch bit in here. Um, <clears throat> drill down through. I just I got a center punched all right. 
through that chrome plating and just I'm interested to see how this drill is going to react to that but we're going to try it anyway. Seem to go down through the chrome no problem. Okay, went through, there was a pretty nasty crunch came out over there at the end, but it must have been just breaking through on the bottom. Drill bit still intact, and the hole is through, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're all good. So, uh, yeah, I'll get that deburred and that part's done. We're going to get going on the uh, the head for that pin now. Um, uh, what was on the old pin was simply just a piece of uh, 2 inch by 3 eighths flat bar, 5 inches long. It was kind of cut out and contoured a little bit. I'm not worried about that. Um, and again, scrap bucket to the rescue. I just looked around and I found a drop of a piece of flat bar I had. It's 2 inch wide. This happens to be half inch thick. Um, which is fine, it's actually gonna work a little bit better because prying the old pin out, the head was kind of bending on me. So this is a little bit heavier, it's gonna work just fine, it's not gonna interfere with anything. Um, so I just chopped it off at five inches long and we just, uh, I just laid it out by hand and center punched it. We're not getting real critical on this bolt pattern. So um, we're gonna go ahead and drill them out. These two uh, holes here, it's what bolts the, the pin into the tractor. They're, um, it's a half inch bolt, so we're just gonna, we're gonna drill them. Uh, we're gonna drill all three with a quarter inch bit first, and then I'm gonna open them all up to uh, 1732, all three of them. And then that, those two there will stay at 1732. And the center one, uh, I'm gonna move over to the big drill press, and we're gonna open that up to about an inch and a half or something. It's just to, uh, you know, open it up big enough to leave access for the puller hole and to get a bead of weld in there to weld it to the pin. So we're going to get going with that. We're gonna get that center hole punched out. <clears throat> I got an inch and a half drill in the big drill press. Um, this table's already got a big hole in it, which will allow that bit to go down through it. 
So we're just going to clamp this piece right down to the table. <clears throat> I'm just going to center it up off the tip of the drill bit. That's going to be close enough. And I'll clamp this down. Um, we've got some of those right height clamps, which work good. So we're going to stick that on there. <clears throat> get a clamp down and poke a hole down through it. Back over at the mill, there's that piece we just drilled <clears throat> for the head of the pin. Um, I said the old pin, the head was kind of cut, contoured a bit. And I didn't think I had to bother doing that, and I wasn't going to. But I got looking at the, the counterweight, the front counterweight, the bolts on the front. And it's, it's kind of got that same contour. So that plate has to fit down inside it. <clears throat> so I just quickly uh, I just quickly scribe some lines, and I'm just gonna set it in the vise, eyeball it, and we're just gonna mill that down pretty rough. So like I say, it's a, there's a lot of eyeball precision on this job. It's not too much that's overly critical. So especially something like this. <clears throat> so, I'm going to get it in the vise, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to eyeball that scribe line that I put on it. I got a piece of quarter inch high speed steel, I'm going to set it there, and what I'm going to do, I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera very well, but I'm just going to eyeball that scribe line with that piece of high speed and about there is pretty freaking close that clamped down now pull that out we got lots of clearance from the vice jaws uh, I got a three-quarter inch roughing end mill so I'm just gonna rough that down to the line again just by eye we're not taking any measurements here we're just gonna get this hammered out kind of quick so
if you remember on the pin I only drilled the pin for one grease hole and that's because so this this is the front of the axle this points towards the, the grill say um, so on this back end where the grease holes in the pin is because there's there's not much of a bush and sticking out there's no no grease hole here anywhere so this end the grease holes in the pin this end here uh, where because the head of the pin is enclosed behind the front counterweight um, the the grease point is in this here bushing itself so and this is where that drive-in grease fitting was where i had a lot of trouble getting it out so what i'm going to do now i'm going to drill and tap this for a 1 8 npt grease fitting we'll get that done and then we got to uh we got to make a little room over there to get out our press it's such a mess in this place we're going to make some room over there get this up in the press uh hopefully all will go well and push these sleeves in <clears throat> i'm a little nervous of this one which goes here it's so thin um let's say i've only got a a two thou press fit on it so i'm hoping it'll just kind of collapse a little bit and go in there instead of crushing but we'll get that in there we'll check it out see see how that's going to go and then uh after i get the sleeve pushed in I'll drill through here again, drill through the sleeve, and that will allow the grease into our pin. So that's our next step. We'll get you over the press now. We cleaned her up a little bit, made some room. We got our axle up in the press. Um, so this is the, uh, the heavier sleeve, the heavier of the two. That's the end we had to bore out to clean up. I'm gonna press this one in there first, because uh, again, like I said, this one's a little bit heavier, so I'm Pretty confident this one's gonna go in good. Um, I'm st still a little nervous of the other sleeve where it's so thin, but anyway, it is what it is. We're this far now, we're just gonna try it and see what happens, so. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, a little bit of grease on this sleeve. Give it a light bump first. Make sure she goes straight. I think she's going straight there now, so I'm just gonna let her go there. There we go, bottom bit. Well, that one went in there great. Good and flush there. Not sticking up on any of the sides, so. It tells me that when we bored it out, it's good and straight, which is awesome. All right, we're gonna get her flipped around <clears throat> and get the other one pushed in there. Same thing, just a little bit of grease on it. It's up there. Yeah, she's going good and straight. I think she's going to press in there good. That's it. We got our bushing pushed in and uh, I went to test the pin 
And uh, as, as I anticipated, just with the press fit, it actually kind of squeezed these bushings a little bit. So I gave them a little buff just to get the pin to fit in each side. It was fine. But uh, when I was trying to fit the pin through, it was, it was bringing up on the other sleeve. I was just like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, I did a little bit of buffing trying to fit it. And uh, it just seemed like it was way off. Um, anyway, I just I kept at it. It's kind of getting frustrating, but I actually went back and looked at some of the video. And when I clamped, when I put this axle in the mill and I clamped it down, you can see it move ever so slightly when I clamped it to one side. So I think that was, uh, damn, that, that was the boo-boo, I think. Um, so basically, this bore is was just slightly off, you know, it's not in line with this one perfectly. So um, I'm thinking that that was the issue. But anyway, I, uh, I did some more buffing, more buffing than I had wanted to. But um, either way, the, uh, the pin slides in. It's, it's good and snug there now. Um, you know, we get that in and get it greased up and a couple of trips around the driveway, I'm sure it's gonna find its find its sweet spot and it's gonna loosen up a little bit. But uh, anyway, the pin's in here now, it fits in, so we're, uh, we're gonna go with that. And, uh, I'm still a little ticked off that that happened, you know. It's, uh, it's not something you wanna do, you know. <coughs> Where this is my own tractor, my own job, Obviously, uh, I'm going to let it go, but if this is on someone else's gear, that's that's on me, right? That's not something you're going to let, let go of the door. So we'd have to tear it all apart and fix it properly if that was someone else's gear. But anyway, um, we got her in. It's, uh, it fits. It's good snug fits. Definitely not going to fall out. That's for damn sure. So anyway, we're going to go with that. Um, we're going to call her a night here this evening. And... Uh, more morning we're gonna get going and we gotta we gotta do uh fix up some of the steering mechanism that mounts here there's a you know a steering cylinder for the power steering and some linkage and stuff like that we're gonna tighten up too so anyway we'll bring you back tomorrow